My name is Mark Bennett and I'm the CEO of WR Bennett Limited. It's a family run company. On the farm we are predominantly a soft fruit production farm, so strawberries, raspberries and blueberries and we supply the likes of Waitrose, Marks and Spencers. Um, also on the farm, just like a lot of other farmers, we've had to diversify to discover other streams of income. Um, so we turned a lot of our farm buildings into light industrial units, uh, we do some self storage here, we also have some residents on the farm, we have 16 acres of grazing and we are very much into our green energy. So we have three 50 kilowatt solar installations, two on roof and one on ground mount. We also have a biomass boiler that heats the farmhouse. We built a reservoir for Hall Hunter Partnership. It's a three acre reservoir, 65,000 cubic meters of water. There is a pumping station which has four large pumps which irrigates the 300 acres we have on the farm. We were also on the back of that going to put a 200 kilowatt ground mounted system because the electricity consumption was so high to power those pumps. But why should we waste perfectly good grade one and grade two listed land when we have a dead space on the water of the reservoir? Why should we waste that land? We started building our floating installation in late August. Um, it only took one week to put 800 panels onto water. The ground mount systems, you have to need diggers to drive the poles into the floor. Some people use concrete solutions. We needed none of that. We needed no tools. It clips together and you push it out onto the water. I spent a lot of money lining the, the reservoir and we could not compromise that, that lining. So Cielitea designed an anchoring system which is driven into the ground on the banks which keeps the pontoon in a static position. We at Sheepman's Farm clean our solar panels, be it on roof, ground mount or floating, we clean them twice a year. So with the floating system we take a boat out, it's very easy to work, walk up and down the walkways and we dip the brush into the water, wash the panels. When it comes to the economics, the returns are very interesting. We installed in August of 2013, so obtained a 10.25p feeder in tariff. We all know that energy prices are rising all the time and currently you're buying energy between anything between 9p to 12p. So the reduction on your bottom line from using the solar energy is remarkable. We paid £250,000 for our 200 kilowatt system. Going on those economics, we should have a payback in less than seven years. All in all, we are very happy with our floating system. We have managed to compare the different systems and the data we are getting back makes for good reading. Really.